Hey, what's up everybody? I know it's been a long time since I've been on here and I have so much to share with you guys. So I've really been trying to think about what will I share first. So some time ago someone asked me to post a video about my experience with mushrooms. And I'm going to give you as much as I can remember now. It's been a couple of years and I was really hesitant to share that because it freaked me out so bad. And it's not that I would say that mushrooms are a bad thing because a lot of people love mushrooms. They're just not my medicine. Um, they could be possibly, but we just don't get along too tough at times. So to give you guys an idea here, this is what happened. Um, I was convinced to try them and I was supposed to sit with some people um, but they were taking too long so <laughs> I decided to take it so I'm in the kitchen and I'm dicing them up and everything and got them all together and I decided to eat them with some potato chips right well the person who was supposed to be my keeper, the person who was supposed to look after me, decided to leave and leave me there alone. So I'm in my room and I was like, okay, I got this, right? I got this, I can do this. And I'm just like, oh, mushrooms, you know, talk to me, yada, yada, yada. So I got nauseous and um, you know, it just didn't feel good to me. It just felt yucky. And then, eventually, around about, maybe about 30 minutes or so, the room started expanding and contracting, expanding and contracting. And I was like, what the hell? And so, I um, looked at the paintings that I have around me in my room. And the paintings start to swirl and move and like I saw faces and abstract paintings and things like that. Another interesting thing was that um, I could see the grid lines, the earth grid lines. They were like neon green and I could see them with the light on and with the light off. So anyway, so this stuff is just coming on right and I'm just tripping about what the room looks like. And it was just like an odd feeling of course because I never felt it before. And then I was like, what the hell did did this person give me? And I called him and I was like, what the hell is this stuff? And what are you trying to do to me? Because it just didn't feel right to me. And I started to laugh hysterically. I laughed my butt off. I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. Like laughed like I've never laughed before in my life. And so then um, the person was like, well, hey, why don't you... Um, why don't you paint? Just paint. Just do something. I was like, yeah, 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 I'm going to paint. And I stood in front of my camera. So I was like, how the hell am I supposed to paint? I was like, no, I'm going to lay down. So then I laid down. And guess what? I turned my video recorder on. And I was like, I'm just going to record all of this. I think I had had it on already. I was like, I'm going to record this. Because it was a new experience for me. And I really wanted to see what was going to happen. So I'm laying down in bed. And... I was like, okay, mushrooms. And mind you, I had thrown up a couple of times and I just wasn't feeling good. So I was really motivated to lay down. So I laid down and then, um, oh my God, how do I say? I could see things in the light and the dark. And then all of a sudden I started to channel. And this is part of the reason why I was kind of hesitant to post this is because of this particular experience. It kind of, it scared me because there's a group called the Council of Twelve that came forth and introduced themselves to me told me that they had been waiting for me for a long time that we had a lot of work to do and so then they started to introduce themselves one by one not by name but by frequency by color by um, by animal they um, they actually went through every person that was close to me at the time my family and friends and told me what was going on with them, what they needed to work on one by one. So what this looked like was that I had the most horrible headache that I've ever had in my life. I was pleading with them for six hours to let me go, that I just wanted to rest, I wanted to sleep. My head was hurting me so bad. I was nauseous. 
Um, what was really interesting was that whenever somebody knocked on my bedroom door to check on me, they silenced me until that person went away. And then after they left, then I would continue talking. So it was kind of like I was playing sleep, but I was awake. And um, another interesting thing was that I was not allowed to open my eyes. So I have an ensuite ba uh, bathroom. So whenever I had to use the bathroom, then they would just say, get up, walk, we will guide you. So basically I moved around the whole time with my eyes closed, regardless of what I had to do. And I was guided. I didn't crash into anything or anything. I could walk. So this went on, like I said, for six hours of, of channeling and everything. And it scared the complete crap out of me. Um, because one, I had never done mushrooms. Number two, um, I was freaking channeling, dude. So what was interesting was my first experience with channeling was actually at my first ayahuasca ceremony. And... Um, it kind of scared me then. It didn't really scare me. Let me take that back. I wasn't afraid. But what gave me apprehension was that I gave a message for one person. And then it was like 18 people there, I think, at that ceremony. People started to come towards me like, what do you have for me? What message do you have for me? And I was like, I don't have no message for nobody. I quit. Like, literally, that's what I said. I ain't got nothing for nobody. I quit. And I stopped that day. And um, that was the first time that I experienced channeling. This time was the second time that I experienced channeling. And since I'm on this, I'm just going to delve into channeling a little bit more. So, my experience with channeling is that... Um, after that particular experience with with the 12 coming through and I didn't know what who what uh, the 12 was are knew nothing about them and um so this was, I just saw the most beautiful blue jay um but I didn't know anything about them and so I was really kind of puzzled and um it was kind of scary for me so I knew, so since after that, I'd had another um, ayahuasca ceremony and I remember being asleep and um, hearing their voices come through again. And it was, I, you know, it's, I, it scared me at that time. And so I was like, at that point, I was like, no, not doing this and did not channel. So then after that, um, I reached out to some people trying to ask people about channeling so I could better understand it and everything and um, I was referred to someone else to channels I also reached out to two readers and guess what they all flaked on me I have never in my life had readers flake on me but the appointment times that I set up the phone calls I made nobody returned my calls didn't get the appointment nothing so what wound up happening was I had another ceremony coming up and I was scared like shitless about going into ceremony knowing that um, this could be another possibility to start channeling again. So tell you how divine order works. I walked into the room which was a shared room with someone and this little bitty lady told me I've been waiting to meet you and she was like my friend on Facebook waiting to meet you and I was like really she's like yeah and so we started to share what had been going on you know with us and and um, I told her I said it's these beings called the council of 12 well guess what she channeled the 12 as well <sighs> divine freaking water so she channels the 12 so she was like yeah I channel them I know them I was like cool so basically, the readers flaked on me because basically I had an angel that showed up for me. So I went into ceremony that night and, oh my God, the medicine hit me so hard that like literally like everything, the room I was in, a living room had turned um, red, like completely red. Everything was swirling and moving. And then if you've ever experienced DMT, it's this 
echo uh, 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 that you hear sometimes or just these noises and crackling and things that you hear so all of that is going on and it was kind of like I was really 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 woozy and then um I heard the, the voices coming through. I heard the people, like I heard beings trying to come through. The problem was that it wasn't just the 12. Really, it, they hadn't even stepped up, stepped through yet. I heard reptilians um, who come through with a snake sound with their words. And I can't even talk like them, but everything is a hissing. I was hissing. And um, I was shaking so bad because I was so afraid and my legs were just jumping up and down like this. And I told somebody, I said, go get, you know, I ain't gonna say her name. I said, go get the lady, you know, lady for me. And cause I was like so afraid and they went and got her and she came back being a, a Reiki. She did some Reiki on me. Um, she did some clearing. We cast a spell, protective spell over me. And one of the greatest things that she taught me was this. And if you channel, or if you are um, beginning to channel, know this. I mean, this is the greatest gift she gave me. When you fight energies that are trying to come through you, they get off on it. The ones that are not positive energies, they get off on it. They love fear. But the moment that you allow the energy to pass through you, and move through you then it goes away like you can command it you can release it you can everything so basically she worked on me for a little while we worked with um, some selenite quartz crystal and um, eventually I laid down and I wound up channeling with my eyes closed for 20 people that night not only did I channel my guides the council of 12 who we're friends now we're cool and and you'll hear more about them soon not only did i channel them i channel people who have passed over um it was just absolutely amazing and that was my introduction um to channeling um there's lots more stories to come about channeling and actually i will be um uploading snippets of the lessons that have come through which are absolutely amazeballs and I'm super excited to be in a place now where I'm ready to share with you guys because the information that's provided is absolutely invaluable as far as understanding this lifetime earth um, the spirit world and how to absolutely control um, or have more control in this experience that you're having right now so you guys I know it's been a long time, but love and light to you all. I hope you're having wonderful, happy journeys. Um, mushrooms, once and once again, I did try them one more time, and it made me sad without cause. And I was like, screw that. I'm done with mushrooms. Just sitting here like, I'm so sad, <laughs> and I don't know why. And that was just not worth it for me. So, love and light. Uh, more videos to come real soon please look out for the videos on the 12 the snippets of it and um, you know post the questions all right love to you all take care